Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 17 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I managed to like go all the way east of Calm, and I found the Moose. They're basically those squirrel-like creatures over there. Unfortunately, they have a small chance of actually committing or using level 4 suicide, so it might take you a while before you get there. Levacron is also a new enemy we got here that's basically like an ostrich. It's almost like a demon dodo, so to speak. Okay, Moos actually have nothing to steal. So there's no sense in trying to steal from them. Because they literally have nothing. Moos are also pretty strong. Because they have that ability to like dig underneath and their balls do over 200 damage. Like, that hurts a lot. Like, I'm trying to get one of them killed. And then I can focus on healing. Oh, I don't have Cure on Cloud anymore. I got it on a Tifa, that's right. Now, out of, like, the number of turns a Moo can have, it might cast level 4 Suicide, like, at a 1 in 14th chance? So you might be waiting a while before you get a chance to make that happen. Which sucks. And it's definitely gonna make your characters a lot more ravaged. Especially if they keep casting Sewer. So unfortunately, we gotta play the waiting game. Oh, that actually managed to cure me. That's nice. Sometimes they'll do that. Not that often, but they can. I hope to god that was a stone and not a turd. Alright, so. How's everyone's day going? It's going good? Well, I'm recording this on a Wednesday on the 28th of October. And I just had my uh, third midterm of the week. And it was like a writing fundamentals. Like, I felt I did pretty good on pretty much all my midterms, except for that one. Like, I'm not saying I did bad. I'm just saying I did probably, like, if you had to compare or contrast the three that I had so far, that that one would probably be the lowest. I don't know, I'm, I'm good at making documents and bookkeeping, but writing, like, finding, like, bits of grammar. Like, I know I speak English, but even that can be tricky. Oh my god, just cast level 4 suicide, won't ya? At this rate, everyone's gonna have their limit breaks ready. Come on, dude. You can do it! You can do it, little squirrel! Ugh, no, that's not it. Dude. Come on. Dude! Just do it! I'd like to get this, uh, magic as soon as possible, dude. So glad I'm gonna be speeding this up. Is this getting ridiculous? That's not what I want you to do, jabroni. I'm just gonna browse through my phone and see what's going on before... Because by then, it might take a while, and then they will cast it. Oh yeah, I got an email from that uh, company in New Zealand that does sells Dungeons & Dragons cards. I ordered some, like, in early August, and I think they sent it to the wrong address. So that kind of sucks. It's only now they just give me the tracking information through UPS, and I found out, no, nope, that's not my address. Like, I clearly put my in- my address, clearly, that it should've been spotted, right? even with the postal code and everything, and they still sent it to the wrong place. Like, not even close to where I live. Well, maybe like 10-15 minute- <coughs> Excuse me. 10-15 minute drive, but I don't drive, so it's very long for me. Are 
Are we still in this battle? Yeah, we're still in this battle. Nice to know you gave me hot springs on a character that already had full HP anyway. That was greatly appreciated. We're waiting! Okay, I was just noticing, why did Red 13 not get any limit meter? I didn't realize it was a bit delayed. They just had to wait for the Moo to get back in its position. Come on now, why does it have to take so long? Like, we've been in this battle for like over five minutes now. I feel bad for like completionists of this game. Because they've had to sit through this. And you pretty much need level 4 suicide to get a pretty good enemy skill later. So I feel for you all. Because now I am enduring your pain. Oh my god. It's going to be easy for you because a lot of this is going to be edited out. But for me, I have to keep this footage in. Because I have to live it. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Okay, guys, it took like five more minutes later, but finally the Moo cast a level four suicide. I wanted to make sure that you guys seen it before you actually missed the whole thing. Because Cloud was level 16, it did a ton of damage to him. Like, I believe it's around, like, leave it to, like, a 16th or, like, what, 31 or 32, 30 seconds damage? Oh, and it inflicts mini, too. So it does two things. In fact, we'll go over it. Level 4 Suicide. It casts critical and small with levels in multiples of 4. That is devastating. Also, we should go over here. Huh. I see tracks. This must be the Chocobo Farm. I've heard about this place. Mark? Um... Mark. They seem very happy. Look how happy they are. It's so adorable. Man, they got nice flexibility on their necks. Ah, I got the Choco Mug Materia. That's actually pretty good. You attach it to a weapon with a elemental and it inflicts wind. That's actually pretty cool. It's also your first summon. So I think I'll attach that. Yeah, I'll give it to Cloud, I suppose. Oh, hi, what's up? Think of crossing the marshes? Yeah. Hmm. That'll probably be safer for you to get a chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with the chocobo. The only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zolom. Midgar Zolom? It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. It detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then BAM! It attacks! To avoid that, buy a chocobo at me and Chocobo Billy's Chocobo Farm. <laughs> to purchase a chocobo, please talk to my grandson. He's in the Chocobo Stables at the far end of the farm. Okay. I'll remember that. Looking for an inn? Uh, no, I'm good. Can I get to the drawers? No, I can't. Alright. Oh, you have to go around this side. And I can't climb that silo either. Okay. Guess I gotta go in here. Ugh, get used to this place. We got an annoying side quest coming up later on in the game. 
that involves chocobos. Do you want a chocobo? Yeah, give me one. You old folks are out of luck. Old folks? We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. Want to know how to catch a chocobo? Uh, where are they? You see those claw prints out there? All chocobos will appear in those areas. But if you don't have chocobo lure, they won't come out. They're very cautious by nature. Chocobo lure? Chocobo lure is a type of material which attracts chocobos. If you equip this, they'll come to you. But without it, they won't appear. Uh, yeah, how do I catch one? A wild chocobo always appears with other monsters. But you won't be able to catch it because of the monsters. That is why you must defeat the monsters first before you catch the chocobo. And then? Wild chocobos are really cautious. They'll run away from the smallest things. But if you use greens, they'll focus on them and won't run away. Okay, so I guess I gotta get some greens. 2,000 gil? Okay. It won't hurt to buy some greens, either. Oh, and how fast the chocobo will finish eating depends on what type of greens you feed them. Oh, I guess I gotta buy that, too. Alright, so... Mostly you wanna buy Gesal greens, but buy one set of Mimet greens. You'll find out why soon enough. I'll buy three, I suppose. Man, I'm low on gill. Wasn't it really expensive? But don't be mad at my brother or grandpa. Ever since mom and dad died, it's been like this. I'm sure it has. But that's not my problem, they died. Don't worry, I will be going back to Calm eventually, because uh, there are some things in town I like to do. But for now... Okay, what do we want to do? Well, obviously we want to equip the Materia. The ability to meet Chocobos? Okay, and your luck goes up by one. I'll attach that to Cloud, too. And then we'll go over here on these tracks. Just basically get into combat when you're near the tracks. And then a Chocobo will show up. I do not see a chocobo there. I just see Levacrons. The game lied to me. Wow, that was bad. I'll be lucky to do any damage with that. Nope, that just flat out killed him and I never got to use Somersault at all. Okay, so I guess we just gotta keep fighting until we find it. Fair enough. We're basically on the right area. I think when I get a chance, if I take a chocobo, I'll just head straight for calm. Whoa, okay! Different music! It's a chocobo! Okay, before we try to catch it, I wanna sense it. Of course, you gotta deal with the other two enemies before you can actually get it. Oh, it ran away. Okay. Oh, I forgot to use the greens. That's what. That's just me being an idiot. So we'll just have to take on the alpha dunks by ourselves. Not that it's a big deal. Wait. Is Tifa slowed? Or stopped entirely? Yeah, I think they stopped entirely. And that has to wear off on its own. Oh wait, she's able to move now. That's good. Oh, I was looking at the limit the whole time! I'm supposed to be looking at... I was looking at the wrong meter. 
Yeah, I was not slowed or stopped or anything. Now let's try again. She'll be able to catch a chocobo this time. Like they run away practically immediately, so I never got to see its level. Alright, here's another chance. I think this one's actually level 16. Like, it's a hunch because of the pairings of enemies. Don't you run away now. Oh my god, are you serious? Like, come on now. I never even got a chance to do anything. Because they run away, like, on the first chance they could, before you get to use the greens. Alright, guess we're gonna have to keep trying. You guys are probably having a laugh at this, and I don't blame ya. Like, yeah, you can't catch a chocobo in Final Fantasy VII, what's wrong with him? Well, for instance, I'm just wandering around here aimlessly for minutes. That's one thing wrong with me. <laughs> also, I should be doing a little bit of studying for my last midterm, but yeah, I don't think it's that bad. I'll do fine. Oh, great, a back attack. That's just what we need. These ostriches are on crack. No sense to use Quake on them. But I can use Bolt. Uh, they're flying types, so I think electricity will do a nice bit of damage. Oh, I'm thinking of Pokemon. Wait a minute, can these th Levicrons even fly? Like, no, I don't think they can. I don't see wings. I see claws. But that's it. So I guess we just gotta finish them off the old-fashioned way. There, that was a pain in the ass, but we got it done. Oh good, I leveled up. It was weird because I actually had, like, no chocobo show up there. I thought they were supposed to if you were fighting on the tracks. Oh, here we go. Now please let me use the Mimic Greens right away. Like seriously, I don't get a chance to use them! Like why do you run away before I get a chance? Is that supposed to happen? Oh, what am I doing wrong here? This is getting ridiculous. Oh well, at least I get to beat up on some birds. As if that's something to brag about. Oh good, Red 13 leveled up. Alright, I gotta think about what am I doing wrong here. wandering around here. Hopefully we'll find something. It's like, what's the point of trying to harm the enemies? Like, the enemies are just gonna, like... They don't do much! But the chocobo runs immediately! Oh, there's a new enemy. It's a Mandragora. I'm not gonna waste my time on this. They don't seem to attack until you attack one of them. Why does it take a million years to run away? Like, they're not doing anything! Look at this! 
Oh, finally, thank you. Okay, let's try this again. There, let's try that. Alright, that worked. But then when that happens, you gotta use level 4 Suicide. I think when the Chocobo is paired with two Levicrons, it's always level 16. And then it uses Choco Buckle. When that happens, you get the skill. There! That took long enough. So, I'm okay with this. Because now we got ourselves a new skill. Choco Buckle is weird. And why is it weird? Well, it only does one damage. But the more battles you run away from, it goes up by one. So if you ran from over 9,000 battles, you're doing over 9,000 damage with Chocobuckle. Is it worth it? Maybe. But you'd have to, like, wait a long, long, long time. Oh, we got Sadness. That's what's bothering us. And it's Hypers we need. That's why the meter was weird. We I mean, weren't doing so much damage. Yeah, so we'll go over the uh, Choco Buckle. Yeah, it, it only does like 3 MP. That's not too bad. I think we'll head back to Calm now. Because I would like to do some stuff before we go. Okay, we made it back to Calm. Now, before we move on, Cloud killed an excellent amount of enemies. Like, probably over 100 by himself. And because of that, he now has his level 2 limit breaks. This one is called Blade Beam, and it diffuses after hitting one opponent. So, I will be setting that to level 2. And it just resets your level, just so keep that in mind. I think at level 2, it just takes a little longer to get full than level 1. But that's my guess. Thanks to Mako Energy, life's pretty darn kind of convenient. Thanks to Shinra... You're full of it. Hmm, but I hate to think of what life would be like without Mako energy. Well, you need to adapt and get used to it. It's eventually gonna happen. Also, I stole your ether, so sucks to be you. Mako energy's made things a lot more convenient. But a lot of plants and animals have been disappearing at a rapid pace. I think the old life is better. Don't you think so? Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'm right. You think so, don't you? I do. But I'm only saying this because your allies will be happy with you if you agree that way. Hmm. Is there anything else in here that I'd like to steal? No other closets? No. Yeah, things were better when you could play with animals. But define animals. <laughs> Maybe we are the animals. Okay, nothing in here, so I guess I'll just leave. Let's check out the other houses. Did you say you came from Midgar? I used to live there too, but I heard they got lots of troubles lately. Yeah, most of them actually left. You're talking to them right now. Huh. What was a dog doing in there? so sad. Like, why did you leave a dog in there? That's abusive. Let's see what's in here. Locked. Can't open it. I really wanted to to punish that dude for locking that dog in the closet. There, I'll take your ether. So I will move on. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to do anything about that chest yet. He was in this house. There was a suspicious looking man in a black cloak. He was carrying a mean looking sword. Hmm, really? I'll be sure to keep that in mind. 
Oh, apparently I can go up here. Alright, let's do that. Hello? A peacemaker? That's actually pretty cool. Unfortunately, none of us can equip handguns. So, I'll, we'll just have to hold on to it for now. Oh well. I'll go in here. My older brother's so stupid! He's so embarrassing I could just puke! But then wouldn't you be the one that's embarrassed because you puked? Whatever, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna talk to him. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a soldier! That's why I'm training hard now! You're embarrassed by that? He's got motivations in life! You should be proud of your brother! Anyways, I can't just leave, please. <laughs> Stupid NPC's blocking me. I don't appreciate that kind of crap. Did I go in all the houses? I think I did. Like, I went through all the stores. Yeah, I think I did. But I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, I know there's the item store, but I don't want to buy anything. So, let's just... Yeah, those stores are adjoined. I'll go to this little area here. I don't think I've done that. Oh, this is the bar. I heard terrorists bombed a Midgar reactor. There have been a lot of dangerous accidents recently. I hate it. Just hate it. Well, deal with it then. Me? I used to work in a mine down south called Mithril Mine. But a while back, monsters started appearing. After that, business went to pot, and now I spend the days here drinking. Wow. I'm sure your liver appreciates that. Stay out of the kitchen! Oh, okay. So sorry. Sorry. Flip out, will ya? Huh, have I not been in this house? I don't think I have. Is it true that Shinra makes monsters? It's true. <laughs> Using the reactors. Yeah, rely on the reactors. That'll go over real well. I think I have been in this house before. But have I seen everything? Yeah, I think this is pretty much all I can see right now. Like I can't open anything here. Are you sure I didn't miss anything? I'm pretty sure I did, but where exactly? I have no idea. So where exactly should I go? I have no idea. I don't think I'd be able to find anything. So I'll probably... I'll just scan through the houses, like, one last time. Like, I know there should be something nearby. But I'm probably not gonna find it yet. Like, just one last cursory glance. I don't need to talk to anyone. And then we'll just leave. Like, have I checked out this door? Yeah, I have. There was nothing. Did I see what's in here, though? Other than the closet. Can't do anything with that, alright. Like, I know I'm just scanning through a lot of stuff, and I bet you I'll find it as soon as I finish the episode. I'm gonna go through there. Oh, I found it. And then I'll have the awkward explanation of like saying, here's where I found it. Empty. 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 Empty! Okay, I thought if you kept checking it so many times, you'll find something. Or maybe that's a different house. Who knows? I'll just go in here. Like, seriously, I think there should be something that I'm missing. Oh, I think it was this drawer. I don't think I looked in here. No, okay, maybe there wasn't it. Maybe I have checked this. 
I don't want to think there was like there was a time limit in which you could have done it. But if there is something here, then I'll just show ya when I get the chance, but I think that's pretty much the best of what I could do. Alright, so in the next episode, we're gonna go back to the Chocobo area, and we're finally gonna catch one. Goodbye, everyone.